Well, this is the final blog for August on the theme of creativity. And as I promised before I went away to Nelson for a painting workshop, I would be reporting in on what that experience was like. Well, I've actually brought along a colleague, dear friend, Bill Chalmers, who is an artist and is also going to share his experience, his thoughts on creativity. So you get two artists for the price of one. So Bill, fresh back from Nelson, You've been immersed in creativity. We'll be showing people some of your work and so on. What nurtures your creativity? If you were just to do a kind of big sweep on that, what would you say? Uh, for me, I, th there's a place that when I surrender, which means I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't know if that's the right color. I don't know if that's the right image. I don't know where it's going to end up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when, when you, you listen to uh, Wayne Dyer, he talks about not being attached to the outcome. Yeah. That's probably the best description of if you want your creativity to flow, get out of the way of how you think it should. Mm -hmm. That for me is probably the linchpin mm -hmm. that has me get painted. Well, and I know you also, it's just so interesting to me, the variety of things, for example, that you read Yes. The different ways that I'm thinking you prime the pump, like you're telling me about puns. Yes. Like to me, that's a foreign language. Like it's not how my brain works. Does some is that part of it? Like when you think about the mix of things that. I think it probably informs you. it. Yeah. You know, when I look back, and I'm, I'm not in any way comparing myself to Michelangelo, uh, but when I read his life and some mm -hmm. of the struggles that he had his vast knowledge of so many things actually got him into trouble. Mm -hmm. He was a sculptor. He was supposed to be carving yeah. uh, and he ended up painting for 12 or 14 years when he didn't want to. Oh. Uh, and the reason he could do that is because he was so gifted at it. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a place that with a range of input mm -hmm. uh, that makes an enormous difference, I think, to the output of whatever it is that you're going to do because mm. you've got a, a more vast knowledge of a bunch of things and that then ultimately leads to a different way of seeing something. Yeah. 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 And, cool. and to me that's where the fun is because on the edge of, I mean, I'm painting and it's raining and I leave my painting out to be rained on. Yeah. It seems like a pretty outrageous but everybody yeah. else is scrambling trying not to yeah. be out in the rain and I'm leaving my stuff out to be <laughs> blessed by God I guess and yeah. and you know when you're painting and God is your paint partner that's a pretty cool thing that's how it felt the universe was connecting yeah. and connecting to spirit and all those kinds of things and instead of resisting it yeah. again being in surrender to it it turned out pretty cool so can you just say a bit more I think for some people this may be not a familiar concept of You've used the words of being painted. In other words, not you doing it, but yes. feeling this flow. Yeah. Talk, I, talk about that if you would. I think there's a place that all of us have the capacity and the ability to be painted or musicked or loved, mm -hmm. as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, to and, and the only way that we can do that is we've got to get out of the way. Yeah. Uh, I don't, it's very evident to me in my painting for sure. It shows hugely there. It shows in my speeches. It shows in my consulting work. When I surrender to the I'm not sure or the not knowing, the amount of great information. I, I watched Artemis uh, Limpert once, and I think most of your people will know her. Uh, she's with New Skin. And I watched her one day. She was just on a roll, and she was she was just working the audience and it was so amazing and somebody said oh well, hey, could you repeat that and she just looked at her and went no <laughs> <laughs> Not because a there's such uh, you mm -hmm. know I've been nicknamed a pipolini which is Italian for pipeline so I'm a pipeline it's just mm. data that's coming out mm -hmm. and it can be in whatever form if it's in a written form or if it's if it's in a, a prose or a poetry or, or, or mm -hmm. making any kind of speech it's just a download yeah. and the painting for me is definitely a, a download and if you try to get in the way of the download and you discovered this <laughs> as did. we were painting together yeah. when you start to second guess yourself you start to think oh. that something it, it virtually grinds to a halt yeah. and you virtually have to go away and 
either rest or it's why painting two or three or five or six paintings at the same it makes perfect sense yeah because when you're finished over here and you don't know exactly what to do you can slide over to this one and yeah, the spirit right moves right so i think there's a way that that pipeline conversation that you're downloading if you can get that you're downloading there's a magnificent result comes out of that well and i know for me it's if if there if it's playful if it's fun if it's like i'm able to go right to action yes then i can start to feel the flow as soon as i slow it down and think yeah. it feels like i'm thinking you know, and I've talked in the past in the blogs about sort of the left brain, right brain. And I think that's where my left brain clicks in and starts to want to analyze, figure it out, know where it's going. Yeah. It so doesn't work. Yeah. But this time in Nelson was so fun because I was using a different way, using sponges to paint rather than a brush. And it just felt much more like a kid. Yeah. Finger painting, playing, the crayons, the whatever. And what came out was shockingly amazing. Well, and so I'll push hard on you. I don't think it should be shocking at all. I think there's a place <laughs> when you surrender. Chichimahalia talks about that. Mm. Mikhail Chichimahalia talks about it in flow. Yep. When you are in flow, and you were in flow, watching you, yep. and watching you in flow, and then watching you not be in flow, because right. that was pretty entertaining that one night when we both had to stop because yep. it, it stopped. I and was done. Absolutely. Yeah. And and it can there can be all sorts of reasons. It can mm -hmm. be the color's not right or whatever the judgment is or you're tired or mm -hmm. I'm hungry or what it can be all those things. When we even surrender to that. Yeah. And you came back the next morning and virtually mocked two with your hair on fire yeah. and mm -hmm. knew exactly what you needed to do, stepped into that, which was all the conversation we were having the night before. Oh, absolutely. And you stepped into it with ease and grace. Yeah. And so I think there's a place there, we've got a lot of judgments. Well, something, if I do that, it's going to take too long mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. that will take and it's going to be hard. And we have all that bolted into our systems. Yeah. And if we let that go, wow, like, wow. Yeah, and you know the language because of the prime potential work you do as well. But, you know, it's when I got over into that constructed identity, yes. it got tighter and tighter. It's like, you know, if I were a potter, I could just imagine the whole pot flying off the wheel. Or squeezing out the top of their hands. Yeah, exactly. Yes, right. It's just like, Rrr. yeah. I was so not in the authentic me at that yeah. point. Yeah. And then just a night's sleep and a rest and away it went. Yeah. And, and I, I also think there's a place, certainly in the artist realm, mm. there's a lot of judgments from people about, especially when you're partway through a project. Mm -hmm. When I was painting the, the 12 foot uh, trees, yes. there was a lot of judgments from people about, well, that's not going to work. And mm -hmm. that, you know, that looks a little extreme. And, mm -hmm what's he actually trying to do and mm -hmm. oh my goodness and tut, 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 tut. it was a bunch of that yeah which i am always amused by right uh, so and again if i'm going to surrender to the paint and i'm going to surrender to the canvas i i know for lots of people that feels kind of weird but there is a place where you get into a flow when some people are writing a letter to their mom or their dad or they're mm -hmm. trying to clear off something or, or they're trying to clean up their debts and all of a sudden they get into this click this place and again chichimahalia's flow they love it, exactly. but it's for a short period of time. Yeah. I actually think we have the capacity, I am not there, but we have the capacity to be in flow all the time. Yeah. And I'm believing, I'm starting to notice this as I age, uh, the older I get, the more in flow I can be mm -hmm. as long as I don't have an agenda as to what direction that flow is. Yeah. So that can also get me into trouble. I think it should be over here. That company shouldn't have to go bankrupt or I shouldn't have to drive over there. And, all that stuff yeah. if we can get out of that and that's again a surrender to what is life presence yeah. when we do that wow yeah. wow well and you shocked yourself i think on doing this amazing 12 foot series yes in how how long well i don't want to give that away because then i can't charge a shitload of money oh so the, in the context, much less yes, time than you expected I, I i planned for seven days of painting yeah i absolutely had yeah. and it took less than two days of painting yeah. less than two days of painting and yeah that was a shock i even where i can i know i can crank a lot of stuff out when when we're painting in the, the group you know this mm. that we pick names for yeah. you know we choose our own name and somebody after seeing my name uh, they they put another word down and it was remember what it was 
Prolif um, yeah, Prolificus Maximus. Right. Because I was just cranking out. Because I tend to, when I'm in that yeah. space, man, they just crank out. I can take a 30 by 40 and have it done in a day. Like, yeah. how do you do that? And even when people have tried to do similar things on their paintings and it takes them two or three days to put the paint on or to put the foil on or to do whatever, it's like painful for them yeah. because they're making it painful. And for yeah. me, it's always a joy, no matter how it shows right. up. And you know, there's a really key principle there that I think is great to share with people. Um, you know, there's many areas where faster is better because yes. there's the energy, the flow. And I've talked to clients about, you know, downhill skiing when you're learning and you're going to make turns. You want to feel in control, so you think it's better to go slow. Right. It's actually the worst. Yeah. That's when you will break an ankle. And so speed allows you to make those turns. Yeah. And I discovered this time, go faster, Lynn. Yeah. Just go faster. Go with whatever feels right. Yeah. Paint the part of the picture that interests you. Just keep going faster yep. and it works so much better. So in terms of creativity, I think that's something for people to take away. Just let it go faster. And as you said, don't worry about the outcome. Right. Yeah. And last week, Paul talked about, you know, the rails, being on the rails, limiting the options and the choices. And one of the things I did this time is I did both paintings that you'll see, which are very different, all with sponges. And that really is what brought the joy, the play. It was just, you know, like that child. And yet I had a focus, I had an image I was after, and the combination of a focus and the play and joy really worked. Yeah, I would yeah. agree. And there's a freedom. When you surrender, there's a freedom that shows up. Right. And you can't go after the freedom. You have to surrender, and then the freedom shows up. It's pretty cool. That is a great note to end on. So, ladies and gentlemen, you got to surrender first. Freedom shows up second. This is a great end to the summer. We've loved talking about creativity. Hopefully you'll have some opportunities to create, whether it's with food, flowers in the garden, painting, business, whatever it is. Enjoy, have fun. We'll talk to you in August.